Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today, we are going to be looking at how can we gauge how much rig tension to put on your boat when you don't have a rig tension gauge. What? This is possibly the most industry standard rig tension gauge on the market. It's called a loose gauge. These probably cost something in the region of, I don't know, 120 euros. Quite expensive if you're not really using it very much. And let's just have a look first at what we do with this. And then we'll have a look at how we can replace this without needing this with what we've got already. Is this is going to tell us how tight the rig is. This is mostly used on the F-18 type boats such as the Hobie Tiger, perhaps on a Tornado, an F-16 or similar. And what we're doing with the loose gauge is we're putting this onto the rigging, pulling this chap back and then hooking it onto the shroud. And then what we're looking for, generally speaking for a wide range of crew weights is 26 to 27 on the loose gauge, which is just where this is. As the rig gets tighter, that number gets bigger. As the rig gets looser, that number will get smaller. But of course you might not have a loose gauge or any other sort of gauge. How do you know how much to put on? Let's see what we can come up with and find out. Okay, so we're starting off by, we've released the rig tension on the boat by putting this shroud onto the top hole so there's no tension in the rig. We know on this particular boat, because of where it just was, to get that 27 on the loose gauge, we need to move this pin to the bottom hole. So we're gonna look at what we have to do to get that amount of tension on the rig. I've recruited Will. Hey. Will claims to weigh in at about 85 kilos. So we're gonna take a look to see if 85 kilos on the trapeze is enough to get that sweet 26 on the loose gauge. I've also recruited Lucy. Hello. Who is gonna be operating the clevis pins. And while he's there, Lucy's gonna take the pin out and see how low down she can get the shroud. I think we're gonna go okay. for that one. We're going into three. Okay, so with Will just trapezing normally, we've got that on the third hole from the bottom. That is still a pretty loose rig. So we're gonna have to try something else. Okay, so what we've done is Will has moved further back now on the boat, just behind where the dagger board is. Let's see if that will allow us to get the shroud any lower down. to two there we go okay so you heard it here first moving back slightly on the trapeze is allowing lucy to get the clevis pin in almost in the right spot and just a reminder will is 85 kilos okay so now will's going to move back a bit further still to see if that actually applies any more pressure so let's try that again. So there we go, and she's in. So there we go, with Will trapezing this far back, 85 kilos, that's enough to get that magic 27 on the loose gauge. Nice job. Okay, so that seemed to be quite definitive that 85 kilos of will trapezing just forwards of the back beam is enough to get 27 on the loose gauge of rig tension on the boat nice but what if you either don't have that much weight or maybe even you could be on your own oh my goodness how are you going to get your rig tension on let's have a look taken the trapeze line, I've hooked on the main sheet 
and what I want is to keep the main sheet traveller right at this end of the beam so we get the maximum amount of pressure so what I've done is I've taken another line and then you're not going to believe this but I've actually tied it to a tree anything else of course will do so let's see how much we have to pull that to get that 27 on the loose gauge okay so what I'm gonna do is pull the main sheet on and see how much we need to pull the main sheet on to get the right amount of pressure to be able to get that shroud in the correct hole to measure how much I'm pulling the main sheet on I'm gonna be using our old trusty scales these are the scales famous for servicing your Hobie rudders. Check out the video, of course. Very exciting times. We've never done this before. Engaging the ratchet for that sweet clicking noise. By the way, I think for this to be accurate, you need to know that this is an eight to one purchase system. With less purchase, we're gonna to have to pull it harder. With more pu purchase, we're not gonna to have to pull it as hard. Just gonna put a, a loop in the rope there. So then I can hook the scales onto the loop and start pulling. Don't even know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna go for 25 kilos of pressure there okay so that's 25 kilograms of pressure I just pulled on to the main sheet Lucy's now gonna see if that is enough to get the shroud onto the correct hole so 25 kilos of pressure is getting us one hole higher than where we want to be so we're gonna have to pull it harder to see how much we need to get it into the correct hole. Let's go. There we are, back at 25. That's 30. All right, let's stop at 30 and see if that is enough to get that in the right spot. Okay, so 30 kilos on the eight to one is enough to get the shroud in to the correct hole to get 27 on the loose gauge. We've already said that we're using an eight to one. So if we were using a six to one, we'd need more pressure. In fact, I think it'd be a shame if we didn't try that seeing as we're here. Okay, so we've now got the six to one on here. We're gonna need to pull this to see how much we have to pull it to make things happen. So that is 33 kilos. Yeah, we're in? We're in. Okay, so there we are. With the six to one that needed 33 kilos. The other thing that of course could influence these numbers would be if you're sailing a boat which is a different width. If you've got a wider boat, like a tornado that's three meters wide, you're not gonna need as much pressure with the same set of blocks, with the same purchase, as you would with a, an F-18, which is two meters 60 wide. If you're sailing a boat which is narrower, say um, a Prindle 18 2, which is two meters 44 wide, you're gonna need more pressure to get the same amount of tension on the rig. How can you tell if you've made the rig just too tight? One way you can tell is if you rotate the mast and it's really, really stiff to rotate, that could be because the rig's too tight. The other way you could see is if you look up the mast and the mast is bending the wrong way. So if it's bending forwards like this way, then that is usually a good sign that your rig is too tight. That's called having an inverted mast. And then how can you tell 
if the rig needs to be checked if it's definitely too loose. This is actually a Hobie 15, so this isn't relevant for this type of boat, but this is what it'd look like. If you can easily move the shroud like this, then the rig is definitely too loose and you do need some adjustment on there. So there we go. I think we've all learned something there. We were actually just experimenting while we were making the video. Very exciting times. Thanks very much to Lucy and Will. 85 kilos. Oh, yeah. There we go. There'll be more coming up soon on Joyrider TV. Don't forget to give this video a like. Even if you didn't like it, give it a like because it's only fair. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed, then do be sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'm going to be sending Will round to your house to yep. show you where the button is. You don't want that. <laughs>